Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Bullcast. I'm your host Nathan. And I'm your host Brandy, and this is actually the last episode of Season 3. And it's very surreal, we were super sad, but yeah. Yeah, how does it feel to do your last episode today? Um, I'm actually really sad because this is my final episode as I am a senior. Um, so I'm just kind of taking it in and mm. appreciating everything that I have left before I'm an alumni of USF. Wow. So yeah. Well, congratulations to you. Thank you, Nathan. I, I'm sad as well, but with all good things, it has to come to an end. Exactly. Right? But today, it's going to be a nice, cozy episode. We have some testimonials from our Bullcast members, a little senior send off segment, as well as sports, archer culture, and some nice bloopers at the end. Yes. Yeah, so that, that kind of wraps it up for me and Nathan for now. So make sure to stay tuned, keep watching, because we have some awesome content for you guys. Yeah. Welcome back, Bullcast. We're here with our special interview with Vanessa, my co-host, for our last episode. So I um, just want to get started. Like, What was your experience like here with the Bullcast? Um, so I started Bullcast last spring. Yeah, I started Bullcast last spring, and I didn't even actually start in sports. Really? Yeah. So I started in social media and like just photography, not really hosting until like the middle. Mm -hmm. um, but I would say my overall experience has been amazing. That's Let's good. Let's be real. Oh, look yeah. at, look at where mean, we are right exactly, now. Exactly. Like, come on. Yeah. We're in Can't the, get any better than this. No, we're in the <laughs> Raymond James press box. I don't think it could be any better. Exactly. Now, for your future, what's that looking like? So my future right now is a little spotty, but it's a little clear also. Mm -hmm. um, regardless, I want to go to the NFL. I've applied to two NFL jobs. Um, nice. And I want to photograph <laughs> in the NFL. But I'm going to work for the university actually after doing photography for the foundation. Nice. Got to start somewhere. Yeah, got to start somewhere. I'm really excited though. Nice. It's been in the works for a while. <laughs> but now no, that, it's, a, it's a process. Yeah. And now that I am an alumni and I have full-time experience, I think that makes it even better. Uh, exactly. I already yeah. know how like USF works. I know how USF media works mm -hmm. inside and outside. Exactly. So. It's just to say, you know the ins and outs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Now, finally, like, what's your what's been your favorite moment from this season or, or the past season? I want to say right now, like winning, you know, going to the bowl oh, game. Yeah, but I actually don't at the same time because mm. the first ever like favorite moment I had covering any sports, football wise, was actually mm. NFL Pro Day when like we saw all the NFL scouts yeah. and we saw the international players. Like that was probably my favorite day mm -hmm. i don't think that brandy and i knew what we were getting ourselves into in general <laughs> and then we're like oh yeah nfl pro day is covering so like you go there at 8 a.m you see all the international players then you see all the scouts walk into the weight room yeah. like oh, holy crap like this is real like what we're doing is paying off almost that's nice yeah so and like i started all of this just emailing like i just sent emails like crazy mm -hmm. emails so. Starts with something. Yeah, <laughs> I said communications. <laughs> I was like, we're putting a sports segment in. Mm -hmm. I would love to start a media relationship with you. And now we are December, two weeks away from graduation, and like, we've done it all. That's fantastic. Yeah. So, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, kind of went by fast. It did. What um, what are some of your favorite moments though, so far? So far, oh, there's so many. Um, definitely our first game here with the the FAMU game that was kind of like a surreal experience because I've never done anything to this uh, magnitude before so mm -hmm. just uh just to start from that one small game just to continue to do it um <clears throat> to do it now and to continue continue to, to do it in the future is so surreal I can't wait to to continue until I graduate. And you better continue it. Oh, absolutely. You better continue it. I better not come back and find out that you didn't continue it. No, it's, it's going to continue for sure. If I have any advice to you or anybody is like, don't stop. Keep shooting, mm -hmm. keep covering. And the worst thing anybody else will tell you is no. Exactly. And that's what got me to where I am, I feel like. Nice. I love that. Yeah. I mean, no is just like a little word, you know? Yeah. You can do whatever you want, especially with bullcast. Oh yeah, you can cover it all, cover the whole world, cover. Yeah, somebody's gonna say yes. Yeah, somebody yeah. will say yes. All right, that's all I got. Thank you, bullcast, and then I'll send to another interview with um, our other host, Brandy. Hi, Alex. How are you so, doing? So I have to ask. I'm doing good. How are you? Good. How are you? Doing? Good. good. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to ask. Why did you join bullcast? Well. Honestly, 
a friend kind of convinced me to do it okay. because at first I was like, maybe I, it's going to be a little intense. Maybe it's, maybe I won't enjoy it as much. But when I finally got in there and realized that I could do really anything yeah. and try, for example, the audio, yeah. I was sold. Okay. That's awesome. That's awesome. So you mentioned audio. Um, what specifically like did you learn? I learned a lot about keeping things properly leveled, like like the limiter, keeping everything from peaking, being mm -hmm. able to communicate with the technical director, things like that. Yeah, that's dope, man. And uh, what's like a fond memory, like your favorite memory of the Bullcast? Like? I would definitely say going to the Fox 13 tour and seeing the ins and outs yeah. and being able to talk to the head audio operator, Steve. Yeah. That was pretty great. Um, and overall, I really just love that tour. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Cause you got it like firsthand account, firsthand experience of like exactly. Okay, that's dope, man. And um, so, what do you want to do after graduation? Um, I definitely want to work in sports. I've been trying to look at things with the raising bucks as well. Um, and I'm hoping those pull through. Awesome, Alex. You will be missed very much. Okay, bro. I'll miss you too, man. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> hey, Kelsey, are you excited to be graduating? I'm so excited, Susie. <laughs> Glad you asked. I have a couple questions for you. Uh, first of all, why did you join Bullcast? So I actually heard about Bullcast through Jeff and our film class we had together. And we found out we were the same major in that class. And he invited me to join. And I had no idea what it was at first. I had never heard of it. Um, was kind of mad no one ever mentioned it in any of my journalism classes. But um, I'm glad that I joined when I did. So... It was super cool when I first came in, like seeing a real live working studio. And so I wanted to be more a part of it when I saw it. And what's something that stands out that you learned through being a part of it? Um, I learned a lot of different roles, different um, parts, um, how much goes into doing anything live, like all the effort you have to do and also the teamwork that you have to do and deadlines and communicating. So I learned a lot about working like with a team to make sure that things happen and things happen with quality. Can you think of any fond memories? I think my favorite would be meeting with the chancellor and having her on our episode. I think that was a really big thing for Bullcast and it really put us like on a new level of like seriousness and professionalism and um, good networking as well. And just being able to meet her was a great opportunity to have her on. Awesome. And what do you want to do after graduation? I want to be a photographer. I've already applied to a bunch of different places. Um, I'm hoping to work with the Tampa Bay Times for their um, summer internship that they have for photography next summer. But I'm applying to different companies as well to do photography and multimedia stuff. So hopefully one of them will answer. <laughs> we wish you the best of luck and we'll, we're going to miss you next semester. Thanks, Kels. Thank you. Hi, Brandy. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you, Nathan? Good, good. So why did you join Bullcast? <laughs> um, I joined Bullcast because I wanted to be a part of an extracurricular at school, and I hadn't been a part of one yet. And Chris came into one of my classes and was like, hey, if anyone's available, you should totally check this club out. And I was like, huh, I'll go, I'll go check it out. I followed the Instagram the previous season. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, I wanted to get to know it more, and I really enjoyed it. I got to learn the ins and outs yeah. um and i started on social media so that was really cool okay and i got to i guess be a manager for that um nice. Nice. so that was really fun and then this season i loved it even more because i got to be on camera and be a host and hey. that's what i learned i really like to do and i got to host with you so it was nice. great and yeah that, that's kind of my bull cash journey so. nice yeah. were there any key takeaways or like key lessons or like what did you learn exactly absolutely um i think the biggest thing i learned was that how to properly talk on camera or talk to a camera and how to word my sentences and mm -hmm. kind of keep it professional for a camera i would say all the skills I learned in Bullcast has helped me because luckily I got a job over the summer where I had to be on camera talking nice. so yeah. everything I learned in Bullcast definitely helped okay. and I'm hoping to take that as I graduate. Okay favorite memory? My favorite memory? Oh gosh there's so many. Or like a highlight? Um I think my favorite memory being in Bullcast is just being able to go to some of the games and report for the webcast because mm -hmm. um, I got to 
instead of being a fan, I got to report on it yeah. and report for our students. So I think that's probably been some of my favorite memories for Bullcast. Nice. And the last question I have for you is, uh, what is your plan after graduation? My plan? Um, well, the ultimate goal is to work in sports. I want to work for the Rays or the Lightning or I'm the sick. the Bucks. So I'm hoping that some part of my journey will take me there. Mm-hmm. And I'm hoping that the skills I learned in Bullcast will help me to get jobs in that route. Wow. Well, thank so, you yeah. so much, Brandy. You will be missed. Thank you, Nathan. <laughs> what motivated you to join Bullcast? So in the beginning of last semester, Chris came up to us after our class and said, hey, do you guys want to be a part of this um, extracurricular? We do a video podcast. It sounds really interesting, and it's a really cool part, um, especially with the major we have. And I had no idea what Bullcast was prior. And from the minute that we stepped out of that meeting, I was like, this is something I have to do. Um, I wish I would have heard about it in the beginning of uh, when I first started here. But it was such a cool experience, um, and I'm so glad that I got into it. What's what's something that stands out that you learned while working with Fullcast? Something that stands out a lot was the amount of teamwork that it takes to do something like this. I know school work, school projects, group projects take a team as well, but this is something that I've never seen true teamwork and group effort, people coming together. It's about something they're so passionate about more than I have with Fullcast. Um, it really does take a family, which we become one. And um, it's just exciting to see everyone come together with something that we all care about. Yeah, totally. And uh, on a similar note, do you have any fond memories? Um, Some of my favorite memories is just everything behind the scenes. Everything on camera is so serious. And I think it's what turns off the cameras is what's everyone's favorite part. Because when you see the final product and knowing about what got there and how we got there, the funny moments, the bloopers, everything that it takes, um, that's really probably the best part. And plans after graduation? Um, would love to be getting more into videography and video marketing. Um, I've applied to a couple places and hopefully a better camera after graduation for a grad present, but, um, we'll see where life takes us afterwards. Absolutely. Well, good luck to you and we're, we're going to miss you here at Bullcast. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to our last show, last segment of Bulls Roundup. I'm your host, yours truly, Vanessa, here at the last home game. Yes, and I'm your host, Brandy, and it's super surreal that we're at the last episode, but we're super excited to be here at Raymond James Stadium for the last home game of the 2023-24 season. It's fan appreciation night, it's senior night, and we're hoping that the Bulls go big or go home because we're trying to get that bull, that bull spot. We want to go bowling. Yes. One more game or this one. we got to win one of them. Yes. But... I'm really sad that it's our last game. So am I. I'm getting goosebumps because I'm getting so sad, actually. We started Bulls Roundup together. We're going to end it together. So make sure you stay tuned for all of our coverage because it's the last time we're doing it. (laughs) The last time until next season. But as always, we'll see you later. And go Go Bulls!
immediately post game and I'm here to tell you that we are bowl bound and we're going bowling. Welcome back. We're going to be talking post game of the Bolts versus the Charlotte game at home this past Saturday. And it was a win. Yeah, it, the Bulls are going bowling as they beat the, the Charlotte Niners uh, 48 to 14. Uh, they will find out who they're playing and where they're playing next Sunday. And on top of that, Byron Brown, of course, with another record setting for the most passing yards 3000 in USF program history. There's all other notable players, so Sean Atkins throwing a pass touchdown and a receiving touchdown in the same game for the first time. And we saw plenty of turnovers tonight as oh, well. Yeah. The defense was clicking tonight. Absolutely. Offense was amazing tonight, and it was also senior night. So for players, some of them, it was our last time taking the field. But not just yet. Not just yet. They got one more game to go. If they decide to play, um, you know, they do have a future to go to the NFL, you know, don't want to risk any injuries or anything, but it would be nice to see them in one more game, especially in a special game like a bowl game. Yeah, absolutely. They're meaningful games, as Golish would say, and, you know, for players that we talked to in press, Donovan Jennings, how he's been here since 2018, you know, that's yeah, a huge moment. Exactly, yeah. He's been through the losses, he's been through the changes. I would imagine he couldn't wish for anything else that he said. Oh, yeah. Special, a special moment for a senior like him. And Absolutely. Barry Hill and Day Day, you know, as seeing their, this is their last game, it's something really special to see for them. Yeah, and I think it was really special to hear Byram and Press, too. Just uh, congratulate them and make sure they got a good send off in this game. It's, it was really nice of them to do that. Yeah, absolutely. But Golish said also in press that this isn't the standard. Six wins isn't the standard, and he's still laying the foundation. You know, this is going to be a long process, but they want to win fast, like real fast. Yeah, the offense is very quick. I don't know if you've noticed. I feel like we kind of missed the start of the play. Every yeah. Year there. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Um, but I'm really excited for us to go bowling. I think it's really, really fun. We probably will get to cover it, I would oh, hope. Yeah, I would hope so. Yeah. You know, hopefully be in the stadium. Yeah. That would be really special. Yeah, right here. That would be amazing. Other than that, congratulations to our Bulls to go yeah. bowling. First time since 2018. And, you know, going into the rest of the year, we have basketball season. Basketball definitely looks like they've turned the game around. And we hope to see you in the SoFlo Rodeo as always. Always, yep. And that's about it for our segment. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. And as always, <laughs> go, go Bulls. Bulls. What's up, guys? It's Ronald. And I'm Aiden. And we're here at the Largo Lights uh, at Largo Central Park. We're here to just have a good time with some whole cast members, and we're just going to be exploring the park. It's just the two of us, but <laughs> but there's they got a uh, carousel right over there, hot chocolate funnel cake over yonder, and can't forget about the Ferris wheel right here. We're going to be going on that. We've had an amazing night tonight here at the Largo Lights in Largo Central Park 
and we just got to ride rides, eat some funnel cake, have some hot chocolate, and just spend some quality time with friends. But there are other events happening around here in Pinellas County that you can go and enjoy with your friends too. You know some of them, Maiden? Yeah, so other cities like downtown St. Pete, Clearwater, Tampa, they all have exhibits like this with lights and whatnot and playfuls, all that good stuff, fake snow even. Um, but also Bush Gardens, they're having a Christmas town ends January 4th, kind of like that How to Scream thing that we went to. Oh, that sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. I love Christmas stuff, so. Yeah, except it's not going to be as scary. Yeah, but it's I'm okay. Sorry. I love Christmas stuff, so it's fine. Yeah, but not only that, there's also Trans-Siberian Orchestra, and they're playing at Emily Arena. That's going to be on December 23rd. It's kind of like a uh, metal prog holiday type of thing happening. It's really cool. I actually went when I was a kid. I know it happens every single year, and it just sounds really interesting so i might hit it up this year who knows yeah i think everyone should experience it at least one time it's it's a really interesting thing so well there you have it guys thank you for joining us on our last episode for this semester and we are wishing you the best of holidays go bulls hi guys my name is hope and i just wanted to say that bullcast truly has been one of the best experiences i've had since coming to usf st pete I can't stress this enough about how important it is that you come and learn things hands-on when it comes to this video production process because there's only so many things you can learn from a textbook or in a lecture but the minute you get your hands on with video editing camera work audio that's when everything really changes and i don't think people understand how important it is that you need that hands-on skill and most importantly learning from your peers because we really are a family here and it takes a village to do this and i wouldn't want it any other way we have our ups and downs but at the end of the day once those cameras turn off the fun still doesn't end we everything from behind the scenes and on camera truly is a remarkable experience and if you have the opportunity to do something like this jump on it because you will not regret it i've gained so many opportunities from Bullcast that I will forever be thankful for. We've had the Chancellor on the show, um, we've got to tour Fox 13 Studios, and so many other things. I've met some of my best friends. Um, I'm really grateful for the environment and the people that I've worked with. It's really motivating to be around people who lift you up, um, and I'm also very thankful for the equipment that we have and the opportunity to use the studio. Um, Bullcast will always hold a special place in my heart, and I'm so thankful for all of the opportunities and everything about it. It's the best. I love Bullcast. Go Bulls! Hey, it's Noah. Um, yeah, Bullcast. This was my first season on the show, and it was so much fun. I got to meet really good people that I consider really good friends of mine. Um, I got to learn a lot and kind of hone my own skills, so it was just a great journey all around. My name is Vanessa. I am the sports host and executive producer. My name is Jordan. I am the sports host and sports photographer. My experience with Bullcast since I started in January has been amazing. And now I get to cover sports teams with Jordan. And we've gone to cover the NFL. We've covered hockey. We've covered basketball. Football. Volleyball volleyball you covered sailing yeah we've covered lacrosse and yeah yeah um my experience has pretty much been like like really surreal like coming into this i was not expecting to be doing any of this stuff like i thought it'd be a, just a simple um a new show to, to produce and now i get to do all of these um side activities to produce more for the show and make the show even better every time we go live so I've, I've loved the experience that I've had here yeah I thought I was gonna just stay a photographer and social media manager forever in Bullcast and then last semester Kayla and Jenna asked me to produce and then this semester I took on sports more which has been like super crazy like sitting on an NFL sideline that's crazy I never thought I'd be able to do that yeah. with Bullcast so I think it's been really rewarding. Bullcast has been literally like my life for the past year and I love it. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Me either. Cool. 
Hi, I'm Erin. I am the camera operator and lighting technician on Bullcast, and I would say that Bullcast has helped me hone in different skills that I can use outside of it, how to adjust lighting, use shadows, and use different cameras that I wasn't familiar with prior. And I just appreciate Bullcast and everyone I've met through it and everything that I've learned. I've made I've met some great people that I now consider friends, so Hi, I'm Jeffrey from the Bullcast. I am one of the producers. I'm Aiden, I'm one of the hosts on Bullcast. And one of the few things I learned on for being a producer is being a, a team player, getting to know everyone and their strengths and skills and helping me get better in what I do, which is like uh, editing and filming, photography, all that stuff. And it helped me realize why my goals after uh, college would be filmmaking. And I'm really happy and proud of that. I think uh, one of the things that I've learned from Bullcast is just how to work with a group of people. Usually uh, with like school and stuff, I've only worked either by myself or like with one other person. Um, so that was cool. It's taught me, um, I, I didn't even want to be a host in the first place. Like that was, so it kind of showed me how to be on camera, how to rehearse. And you're good at it too. Um, you're really good at it. Yeah, this shows it right here. So, um, yeah, that's cool. And I, just, I built a, a nice connection of, of friends. With, uh, Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm a host for the Bullcast. I started Bullcast on season two hosting and throughout my experience thus far, it's been an amazing opportunity for me to fine tune and sharpen my public speaking skills, my networking skills, reporting, speaking on camera and interviewing skills. Without Bullcast, I wouldn't be as a prominent speaker as I am today. And um, it's, it's just been like an awesome experience from top to bottom. Hey guys, it's Ronald. I am one of the arts and culture segment hosts on Bullcast. I also help interview around the campus whenever we have different segments to do. Um, what Bullcast has done for me has been a great networking and learning tool. I've just broadened my horizon so much by joining this club and I love all the people that I've met in it. I've, been, I've had the opportunity to go around campus and meet new people and just understand USF as a whole. And it's just been a really great time and I love it so much. Hi, I'm Elena and I worked as a technical director and for the cameras um, behind the scenes for Bullcast. Um, Bullcast was a very promising opportunity. Um, the people, very hardworking, dedicated, and it was kind of the first time I saw teamwork and people just intricately working together to, um, to get things done on a time basis. Um, it was really inspiring and a good opportunity for that. I was able to learn um, skills technically about cameras, lighting, uh, communication, just just everything really um, that goes behind the scenes of a production. So yeah. Hi, I'm Susie from the Bullcast. I'm one of the writers. Hi, I'm Kelsey. I'm one of the assistant producers. Something that I was really grateful for about Bullcast this semester was getting to work with so many interesting and talented people, whether there are hosts on camera or the people doing the more technical side of things like camera and lighting. Um, everyone is just so talented and really inspiring. From Bullcast, I learned a lot of great different roles and opportunities and I've met so many amazing friends from it. And I just kind of was able to solidify what I wanted to do in my career by doing different roles like photography, graphic design, um, even hosting on camera. So I've done a lot of different things that helped me test out what I want to do in the real life after college. Hi, my name is Brandy and I've been a part of Bullcast for two seasons now. And I'm super grateful that I was a part of it because I got to learn the ins and outs of producing a show and learning how media production actually works. Um, I've absolutely loved the family I've come to get with being a part of this, and all my friends that I've made. And it's taught me a lot of skills that I know I'll need for post-college, like on-camera speaking and working with a team and all of that good stuff. So I'm super grateful I was able to join Bullcast last semester, and I really hope that it can continue for other people to experience what I did. Well, it's really hard to put it into 30 seconds or 45 seconds. Um, but it's been one of the most enjoyable experiences I've ever had 
in college as in a professional career. And um, I've really enjoyed the mentorship, and it's been so wonderful seeing everyone grow and becoming a better person, both as professionally, but also working with other people. And uh, it's made me, it's improved my leadership skills, I believe. And um, it's, I'm just very proud of everybody. And I think everyone's done a phenomenal job. And uh, it's really been a honor being able to help everybody. And with that, season three of Bullcast comes to an end. Good night. Someday soon your whole life's gonna change You'll miss the magic of these good old days I was thinking about the band I was thinking about the fans We were underground Loading merch in that 12 passenger van In a small club in Minnesota And the snow outside of first half I just wanted my name in the star Now look at where we at Still growing up Still growing up I would lay in my bed and dream about what I've become Couldn't wait to get older Couldn't wait to be some Now that I'm here Wishing I was still young Those good old days I wish somebody would have told me, babe That someday these would be the good old days All the love you will forget And all these reckless days Thank you everyone for tuning in to our season finale of the Bullcast. Brandy, where are we right now? So we're actually outside the Peter Rudy Wallets building, which is where we shoot our Bullcast episodes in our studio. Um, this is where our department is for our major, so we figured it'd be pretty cool to come out here and show you guys where we where we shoot. Yes, it's also a beautiful day today. Yes. But we want to thank you all for tuning in to our season finale. We appreciate all the support we get from you all. Yes, and then we also want to thank you for tuning into this season in general. Um, we appreciate everyone's support and watching um, practice our crafts and stuff. So yeah, yeah. Thank you, everyone. Of so I'm your host Nathan, and I'm your host Brandy. And as always, go Bulls. <laughs>